Hello, this is Father Daniel Kim, Marino Missioner, and welcome to our daily Gospel reading and reflection. Today's Gospel reading is according to St. John, chapter 15, verses 12 to 17. Jesus said to his disciples, This is my commandment love one another as I love you. No one has greater love than this, to lay down one's life for one's friends. You are my friends if you do what I command you. I no longer call you slaves, because a slave does not know what his master is doing. I have called you friends, because I have told you everything I have heard from my Father. It was not you who chose me, but I who chose you, and appointed you to go and bear fruit that will remain, so that whatever you ask the Father in my name, he may give you. This I command you, love one another. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus does not call us his subjects or subordinates, rather his friends, which assures us that he did not come to dominate our lives and rule as a despot, rather to share his power and authority with us in order that we become empowered and we, in turn, help others in the same way. Unlike a tyrant, Jesus is absolutely transparent with us and keeps nothing from us. Although the truth might hurt or feel uncomfortable at times, it is necessary if we want to become better and stronger. Platitudes and agreeableness might feel good, but it is often a stumbling block to growth and maturity because it does not lend itself as challenges, and without such, there is no meaningful development. And whenever we overcome the obstacles that are in front of us with faith and trust, we come out of the other end with priceless knowledge, experience, and compassion that we can share with others in order that they, too, conquer the hurdles placed in front of them. Experiencing as well as witnessing these victories in ourselves and others are the fruits Jesus is referring to. So let us continue to have faith in the truth that Christ represents and through which grow in faith and life moment by moment, day by day. Thank you for listening to today's Gospel reading and reflection. Please be sure to tune in again tomorrow. Have a blessed and worthy day. If you enjoyed today's Gospel reading and reflection, please make sure that you subscribe wherever you're listening to podcasts. Also, if you know somebody who may find value in today's reading, please make sure that you share it with them. To learn more about how you can support the work that Mary Knoll does around the world, please visit us at marynollsociety.org. And if you're interested in subscribing to our online magazine, please feel free to visit us at marynollmagazine.org. Thank you once again for spending your time with us today, and God bless.